We have a crucial practice today. Process. Did you see how from your man against Texas? You can see us being with Stickler. Well, we'll, we'll still leave some zone for sure. I want, like I said, I can aim to be a team that uh, is a man to man team first and foremost. And I think that's what I believe. And, uh, you know, we've got a long way to go. You know, a freshman just learning stuff for the first time. Or, uh, you know, it's, it's just a learning process. When, uh, there's so much to uh, playing man. It's not, it, there's a lot of little things. And uh, things that these guys have never had to do before, uh, like block and trail and extend and bump and be in a stance on and off the ball, play hard for 40 minutes and not take the possession off and block out. It's just, it's just all hard, tough things, not easy. Earlier in the season, you said you felt like this team, because it was long and big and wasn't necessarily super athletic, was more suited uh, to play zone. Was there anything that switch your point of view? Uh, just that I think we still are going to play some zone for sure. I think there will be certain teams uh, that, that, that would better match for us in play the zone. Uh, and it's just only so much time you can spend. I mean, in other words, we're going to, uh, I, think that, I think teams, as the season progresses, typically become better and better at attacking zones as their season goes on and on. In other words, I think you'll find that teams that play zone primarily, uh, you know, in November, it, it's uh, the zone looks better than it does in February. Because kids in the summertime, they're not practicing against the zone. It's all man to man in the off season. Uh, and then once you start working as a team and working on zone offense, I think it gets uh, easier and easier to attack zones. And there were certain teams that don't shoot it well. I mean, you know, like Georgia wasn't a particularly good shooting team, nor was Northridge, and we played in the zone against both those teams, and there'll be hopefully someone like that in the future. You know, San Diego State, which we were better than what I ran in, uh, because we should have played more man, but they shot it too well. What's the rough time in practice, uh, or how, how much time you're spending on that? Today was a zero time on zone. Some time this week on some zone. Today it was zero. Today we were primarily we were trying to you know, teach man to man. I mean, you know, it's very basic. You have four, four freshmen out of the eight guys who play the majority of minutes, and so they're going to stuff for the first time. How much uh, encouragement did you take from the last two minutes that Texas game where it seemed like the intensity picked up? I'm sorry, uh, uh, what was your question? How much encouragement did you take from the last two minutes of the uh, Texas game where it seemed like the intensity picked up quite a bit? Yeah, you know, Max. Uh, and they became a little tentative when the press, you know, I thought a couple times when we watched the film, they had a chance to attack. It's time to score, they had three point leads and they pulled it out and our guys made some plays. But it was, what was encouraging about it was to not quit, not give in, not give up, keep fighting all the way until it's zero, zero, zero. And we had a similar thing on the day. We were playing in you know, five minute segments and the team was down. Uh, Two six seconds to go, and end up uh, winning uh, today. One of our things, but you know, same type of deal. We just never quit. You never know what's going to happen. Could the? Do you feel like the Texas game could be maybe like an early turning point as far as? Yeah, obviously it's early on, but does it we'll, feel we'll like see. When we look back at the season at the end of the year, we'll see if that was an early turning point. I hope so. Mm -hmm. How long do you think it would take for the younger guys to say, get acclimated to this level? In terms of well, I think it continues. Play. I think it continues. I mean, I think it's just a continued growing process. We have to acclimate very quickly. We don't know how much we'll so it's a continued improvement, getting better and better and better. Uh, it's not like where you, should, you reached a point in that area. I mean, it's it's continued. It continues to to um, hopefully get better and grow. Um, so yeah. you they're on the pace. Right. Where, like, where they are now, is it easy? Yeah, this is a big time for us now. Now, I mean, our freshmen have already got done today. They don't have school for 28 straight days. Uh, so, you know, like tomorrow, we'll have, we'll come in twice tomorrow. Uh, in the morning, we're coming in to shoot for 
40 minutes, 35 minutes, and we'll come back and have a two hour, two hour, 15 minute practice, uh, two and a half hours later. And now we have a chance to watch more film and try to, you know, study others, study ourselves, etc. So you look at these 28 days, it's kind of good with the point of reflection and looking at it. And it's growing, you know, there's, there's more focus now on just basketball for those guys. And, and by Friday, it'll be everybody. A school will be out for you know, everyone by Friday. The previous teams you coached, have you seen a team maybe take a big step forward in that stand? Yeah, I mean, this is always a good time. <clears throat> Any more questions? All right, thank you, coach.